Need for Speed Unbound's effects, they're not for everyone. Well, no, that's a lie because they said you could turn them off. Not quite true. I'm sure this was just confusion in what was said, but essentially you can kind of turn them off. What you've got is a cloaked kind of effect. And it's the one I used from the beginning. In my opinion, the only thing I don't like about this effect is the smoke. If the smoke was changed, the wind, the trails on the lights, things like that genuinely, I actually really do like. It reminds me of Underground 2. Welcome then to the outside of Need for Speed Unbound. I've turned off the hood because I think it adds a greater effect to demonstrate exactly what this is going to be like. So these are the normal effects when you start to wheel spin, when you start to drift. But at the touch of a button, they are now gone. The effects have vanished. There's a copper coming. No, you don't. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> so you'll notice there are some effects that do remain. We've got the light trails that stay, which again, very much Need for Speed Underground. It reminds me of the classic games. It just, I think it looks super, super sick. When we do a little bit of a drift, you can see the exhaust popping in the background. We've got the flash of purple when you actually do boost. Are we escaped? We escaped with no hood. Amazing. But here's a perfect demonstration location for doing some skidding. So if I now turn the effects back on again, let's do some drifting. Let's do some... Let's do... <laughs> For God's sake! Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this car. <laughs> Since when did Mercedes get so grippy? I know, I know, it's a black series. Uh, just to show you, by the way, the reason I've not customized this, you can't. It's uh, light colors, wheel colors, and license plate. So there's no point in customizing this car. So here is what drifting looks like with normal settings in Need for Speed Unbound. This is a bit of a slow car. <laughs> I'm on the PC version where I haven't actually progressed very much wrong. In fact, I'm actually going to be restarting it for a stream later this week. So make sure you subscribe for that. Link down below. Hit the bell. All notifications. Again, if you'd asked me before launch, I genuinely would have said, oh yeah, an option to turn it off would be nice. But however, there we are. The effects are off. And again, it almost looks like maybe it's drifting less. It looks like it may be one wheel peeling. I've now switched to the more dynamic camera just to give it a bit more of a, an effect. I feel like it looks like it's drifting less. <laughs> I don't know if you guys agree or not. I really can't say how much you would notice it. As I say, I've grown to really enjoy it. It just kind of gives you the extra confirmation that something's going on. And I know ultimately the reason that they added these effects is to cater to the mass market. Realistically, Need for Speed Heat was the peak for what we could do at sales wise for a big game like Need for Speed Heat. Right now, this is with the effects on. You can hardly even tell, except when I get near misses and my car goes a little bit. It's really not that much to it. I've now turned them off and really there's not much difference. <laughs> That's actually really interesting. I think the issue with the trailers is they were showing the effects constantly, constantly, constantly. And realistic, again, that was for most people trying to cater to and potentially grab a new audience. You know, the characters are something a little bit different. Something I actually heard online. Someone was trying to depict as to why the characters, for example, in the main game are all cartoony. But the cops, for example, well... It's a little bit different. They use more realistic character models for the AI and the cops. Interesting. They thought maybe it was depicting that the racers feel like they're in their own world. It's all about showing off and, and, and being extravagant, whereas everyone else is normal and boring. I thought actually that might be a good explanation, but in reality, I think the developers just thought, no, that's a lot of effort. <laughs> it's actually interesting, the loading screens as well. They're so much more boring looking. <laughs> but of course, I want to do a race with the effects off just to see what it's all about. Because again, this is going to look so much more stale, <laughs> if you will. I've played probably like 90 hours of Need for Speed Unbound so far. And so going from no effects, well, sorry, all effects to now basically none. Yeah, this is definitely... <laughs> Definitely a little bit funky. <laughs> Definitely feels like there's a lot less just going on with the game. And I, I think that's one thing. The, the reason I believe, again, that they, they added the, the effects is, again, to cater to more outside, make it more interesting for the outside people. If you look at a racing game, generally, it doesn't look very interesting. And I can kind of agree with that. I can kind of feel that 
I play a hell of a lot of different games, and I feel like when I when you see a racing game, there really isn't. It doesn't look very interesting. You got to consider the majority of the market are playing things like Call of Duty or Fortnite or Warzone, if you will. And although those games never look super super exciting, there's always that tenseness going on, and I feel like a lot of racing games kind of throw that away. What I mean by that. The AI has been made super easy. You don't have to win all the events. And there's, there's, they're trying to create a way to make it look exciting, visually appealing. Like, oh, that's actually interesting. I might might have a look at a little bit more into that without really making the game super intense. You could argue at the same point that, yeah, they maybe should make games more difficult too. It's just something always going on. But I always feel like when you watch, say, Call of Duty or something, you almost feel part of that on-edgeness. Whereas it's hard to portray that in a game where a car is just cruising along at 100 miles an hour and the AI is a million miles behind. Even if the AI was right next to you, that, that tenseness almost doesn't translate in the same way. Now, cops are one thing that could definitely change that. And I feel it, Need for Speed Heat did. But they thought, let's go a little step further with this and turn on the effects. Now, I'm going to turn the back on again. And I think the ultimate thing I've learned from testing this out the effects are so much more subtle than we made out <laughs> to be at the beginning. It just, it really isn't that much going on. I've gone from worrying about the effects a little bit to not really caring and actually kind of enjoying the effects. I feel like I get more feedback from the car, which is something we complain about with electric cars. So maybe electric cars need to just have effects instead of flying from them. That's a brilliant idea. But I will say the one thing I don't still quite understand is the cartoon characters. Although I get that they try and fit the mold, fit the theme of the game with all the effects, I think you could have done the exact same thing with real kind of normal characters. I felt like Need for Speed Heat for the, for the racing gamers generally was the peak of like recent times. This improves on a lot of things and also doesn't. If you look at the cops, for example, they're pretty... Uh, they're okay. Yeah. I've had the effects on this whole time at the end of this race, and I don't know if it felt much different, but there was a little something that felt a little bit spicier about it. Oh no, it's the police. What are they going to do? I think it's super easy to jump into the, the game. Not even just, just look at the game. Also, it's just so cool I could do that now. If I was taking a nice picture without the effects, boom, craziness. I've heard a bunch of people say things like, I'm not buying the game because of the effects. Let's be completely honest with ourselves here. You know for a fact, turn them off again, you were not going to buy the game anyway. You probably didn't even have a next-gen console, did you? No. That's the real reason you weren't going to buy the game. Because quite frankly, it's pretty obvious if you've watched anything that this is one of the best Need for Speeds in a really long time. This feels like it's sliding nicely. This feels better. <laughs> they definitely made it so that most cars now feel like they all wheel drive slide. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. You can definitely tell majorly though that the car bogs down crazy amounts compared to what it used to. And that's something we've asked for for years. And I feel like that's so much clearer now we can see with the effects off. Maybe they worried that disabling the ability for drift to be kind of properly overpowered it would make it less exciting to do but to be honest i kind of like it the tire chirping noise i love that sound no 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 no! i ain't gonna get gold what the freak what the frickity freak oh all right that's the not that's not the finish <laughs> no we did it can't believe that okay but the question is would you still like to have the option to turn them off fully. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, I, I, I quite like that idea. I have actually suggested this to them multiple times. But again, for me then saying, oh, actually, no, I ended up liking them. Maybe dutties the water a little bit, but it's now been a few weeks since the game came out. And have your opinions changed? Or do you now not care enough? <laughs> if you haven't bought the game, for example, if they now released the first patch and that allowed you to turn the effects off and improve the multiplayer and things like that, 
would that change your mind? Let me know down in the comments, but I'm going to say, even if I felt I still had the opinion, say, for example, the characters, I still think, what's the point in these characters? If they had an option to disable now the character cartooniness well i don't think it would affect it because i would have already bought the game nonetheless i will link the guide on how to install this down below amazing work by the need for speed amazing work by the need for speed community <laughs> keep that in actually amazing work by the need for speed community as always the best community you guys come on we already know we're the best community check out this video for more need for speed unbound smash like subscribe and uh, the pc videos are in full effect peace